Hey folks, yeah, a bit of a fun video for you today. I'm going to show you some of the image manipulation that I've done in the past. And this will be cut and paste with my some of the images that I had. And this will be a three-part series. Um, this one's going to cover a couple topics. Um, technically three or four, but anyways. Um, the next one will be just kind of miscellaneous stuff that I've done and I'm saving my last one to part three and that one was a little more creative I really really enjoyed the the output from that one and turned out a lot better than I expected it to so I'm gonna start this one um, I tried several times to uh, get some pictures of lily pads I didn't have a whole lot of success. Um, there's not a whole lot of areas around here where you know, they exist to begin with, and I just I couldn't find anything that was suitable. So this this turned out to be the best one that I was able to capture. So I started with that, and then I got Zach here doing his interpretation of a frog position, and and Kenny doing his interpretation so I cut those two pictures out and placed them on the lily pads <laughs> added a couple shadows now yeah. was this I'm not sure if this was the first time I've done anything like this but it didn't turn out as well as I had hoped but I was, I was kind of pleased with it I think it's kind of cool And this next one was for Kenny's seventh, I think, seventh birthday. Uh, this is Molson. This is the dog that they had when I first moved in with them. And he loved this dog very much. So I took this picture. I cut Molson out. And placed it on uh, an iron-on transfer sheet that you can print on. So I put that on there, his name and the date, and printed out a whole bunch of paw prints, also on iron-on transfer sheets. And I made a sweater for him with Molson on it for his birthday. <laughs> he just loved it. So you notice on the left there, you see that picture of a dog on the wall. Uh, I don't remember if this birthday actually had a theme or not, but what we did instead of one of the games we had for the kids instead of pin the tail on the donkey we had pin the tail on the puppy <laughs> so it was kind of interesting uh, we had one uh, Zach's birthday which I don't have anything special as far as you know, these images uh, it was a fire breathing dragon and the part that you had to pin on was the fire so you're blindfolded and you have to so, sort of somehow you know, pin the fire on the, on the dragon's mouth. And that was pretty interesting. So and here's the back of the sweater with paw prints all over it. And this next part, uh, I kind of wanted to make something that each of the kids could take home from the party. As all, the, all the friends that Ken had any time he went to their parties, they always had something to bring home. And one of them, it was a t-shirt <laughs> with the party name. I can't remember what they called it now, but you know, date and everything. They all got a t-shirt to take home. So I kind of wanted to do something. So what I did was I bought a bunch of caramel chocolate bars. I scanned the, the label into my computer. And then got a picture of each of the kids that were at the party. Cut them out. Paste them on the bar, <laughs> on the label, with their name, printed it out, and glued it back together on the chocolate bar. So each of the kids that were there, you know, we did the same thing for them. And they each got their own chocolate bar to take home with their picture on it. So, um, the only one that was really different, uh, you notice there's... No picture of Kenny on here. So I did something a little bit different for him. I took his picture, cut it out, and he got a giant chocolate bar. <laughs> and that was his special gift. 
It's basically the same thing, but it was a lot bigger. The next year, when Kenny's birthday rolled around, uh, did something a little more creative this time. Uh, this party actually had a theme. It was a Lego theme. And for one of the games, it was <laughs> pin the Lego block on the wall. So I a bunch of construction paper, different colors, and cut out a bunch of Lego blocks, built a wall with it, and left a hole in the middle, and that's where they had to pin the block to. And that actually turned out to be pretty fun actually. So that was the theme and to prepare for this I got a couple pictures of Lego blocks specific positions and then I got the kids to sit on the picnic table one leg down one leg up and I started with Zach and I immediately realized a problem you know, if you look down at his shoe and there's grass sticking up around it and that made it really difficult to cut it out. So I come up with a solution for that. But I took that picture and cut him out and placed him on the Lego blocks. So did Kenny next and there's the solution for the grass. <laughs> Stuck a piece of wood on the ground and he just put their foot on that. So that solved the problem with the grass sticking up. So cut his picture out, put him on the Lego block, blocks, both of them. And then it's kind of repeated this process for each of the kids. And they all had pictures to take home. And there's other things that I did with these, but that'll you'll see that in my last one. Um, there was actually another picture that they that they were able to take home with them, but those are the really cool ones. So that's it for this one. And the next video that I do on this series will be this kind of random stuff, and then. The last one I'll do, uh, you'll see these pictures again. Not these specific pictures, but the cutouts. And you'll see what I did with them. It was really cool. I was really, really impressed with how they turned out.